Hey Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. This is the other person reading. I know it's been a while since I made this types of reading Aries, but my intuition led me to. For those of you that are not aware what this is all about, this is specifically intended for those that need insight regarding an ex-person. Could also be somebody that recently ghosted you or an ex-friend or somebody that you're no longer in talking terms with, okay? Hopefully these cards will illuminate things that you may not be seeing, the blind spots or the shadow. And this will give you the insight and clarity that you seek. So without further ado, let's begin. What does Aries need to be aware of regarding this other person at this time? We ask for insight and guidance, please. What does Aries need to be aware of at this time? One more shuffle. Okay, so Five of Cups, starting this reading, dealing with feelings of regret, Aries, and this is something that they have just come to realize now because there has been a tendency for this person to bury their emotions, sweep something under the rug. And now they come to realize that the more they hide these feelings, the more that they suppress these feelings, the stronger they get over time. So Five of Cups, they're also fully aware that they are missing an opportunity with you and this is something that they're regretting. Let's see, what is the challenge here? Ace of Wands. So they really wanted that new beginning with you. But I also feel like dealing with so much regret here is sort of demotivating your person or discouraging your person from actually taking action. Okay, they're dwelling too much on what has occurred in the past instead of focusing on a new beginning with Ace of Wands. They're definitely feeling emotional right now and they've also been thinking a lot about you. Let's see, what is the root or cause for this? We have the Two of Swords. So there was in denial, right? And like I said a while ago, denial here of these feelings only um, strengthened these emotions over time. This Two of Swords could also be indecision, perhaps in the past. You know, they did not make a choice to choose you, to choose the connection. They were not seeing the potential, this Ace of Wands, this new beginning. And now they wish that they have taken that opportunity. Let's see what happened in the recent past. We have the Strength card. You could have dealt with a Leo. So it's saying here that they were holding back Aries. They were holding, at, holding back from giving in towards their desires. So they definitely wanted you. They definitely wanted to work this out, okay? But they were afraid of the change. They were afraid of the person that they were becoming. Some of you may have actually dealt with somebody that has reserved personality or that they have a tendency to stick to what's familiar. Okay, but I see that coming into this person's life, you really change them. However, it's something late for them to realize Aries. They may have tried to push this change away because they didn't like um, going through some kind of pressure, you know. Let's see, what is their intention? We have the Five of Swords. So Five of Swords is feeling defeated. I feel like their intention here is they want to prove a point, Aries, or this was their intention. They wanted to prove a point that they were right, but walking away here, okay, they didn't really have inner peace. They knew that they made a huge mistake this could also be a situation where it was impulsive it wasn't really well thought of it was a decision at the moment Aries because they were under a lot of pressure for whatever reason there was too much pressure and they didn't make the right choice now with five of swords they're learning now that they should need to take their time and think things through before you know assuming something or deciding on something abruptly they definitely feel defeated at the moment, but I feel like this kind of mindset needs to also change. Otherwise, it's just going to create this cycle all over again. They need to see the lesson in this. I see that they might also be blaming themselves, Aries. Let's see. In the immediate future is the Knight of Pentacles. You might be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a very slow moving night. But I also feel like they finally are walking away from these emotions and feelings.
Let's see. How do they feel about you? We have Nine of Cups. So it could be something regarding work, Aries. It's a choice between you or the career. I don't know, for some reason I'm picking up that strongly. They're different around you and they're a different person when they're, uh, um, when they're focused with their work, their ambition, their goal. Because I see here two nights, this can indicate a sense of competition. And the Five of Swords may have also been that inner conflict that they have experienced. They thought that choosing their work or their career is what's going to lead them towards a path of happiness and joy. However, they're not coming to realize that the heart knows what it wants at the end of the day. And that's why they feel this Knight of Cups, their love for you is still there. It didn't really fade away, Aries. I also feel like there's tendency for this person now to obsess or be, be, or be very overly sensitive about this. Let's see. How do they see you? We have the Page of Pentacles. They see that you're no longer as well putting effort or attention to this relationship. They also feel like, you know, how they see you is somebody that's very supportive. You have been a very strong support system for this person's dreams. Like you were not really blocking them from achieving their dreams. It's just how they felt at that moment in their life. Let's see. Hopes and fears. What is this person holding on to in terms of hopes and fears? With the Six of Swords. So they're hoping that they can reach calmer waters and let these feelings of regret go, you know. Um, this can also mean that they're afraid you have already moved forward, Aries. Potentially with somebody new. Let's see what is the final outcome here, the probable future. Then we're going to be clarifying these cards. What is the final outcome here? We have the Eight of Wands. So, uh, you know, the Eight of Wands is an element of surprise here, something unexpected, very fast-moving news. For some of you, this can mean that this person will travel and see where you are. I see a lot of travel cards over here, might even ask for an, an apology of some sort. It's finally the force that propels them to take action with Ace of Wands. Like, instead of dealing with regret, they're finally going to be apologizing to you and explaining themselves. You know, they might feel like it's never too late to make things right with Aries. They might try to win you back, okay? It all depends on their ability to let go of, the, of this disappointment and turn their mindset around with Eight of Wands. Now, this can also suggest with Eight of Wands, they might be receiving news about you, Aries. Either way, it's going to come across as, finally, things are about to pick up momentum. Them not hearing anything from you at all. Okay, there's not a lot of sword in this reading. This can indicate that you may not have been communicating for a while. And it made them feel um, in the dark about this. They don't really know where they stand with you or where both of you currently are at. So we're going to be clarifying these cards. Why is the Five of Cups here, please? Why is this Five of Cups here? We have the Lover's card. Wow, you're dealing with a soulmate. This is Gemini. There's a feeling of your souls being intertwined together, but lovers can also mean there are lessons that you both are learning. This also talks about the need to make a decision. Perhaps they were not able to decide based on their heart, Aries. There, was, there has also been some kind of temptation here, a test in the connection, and they regret failing that test. Why is the Ace of Wands here, please? We have the Ten of Swords. So they can't seem to let this go. They still feel the connection with you very strongly. But with Ten of Swords, this can also indicate that they are in the last final stages of healing the past okay accepting the past that it can no longer be undone what's done is done because i feel like they're being very hard on themselves here let's see why is the two of swords here please we have the king of swords yes yeah, so on the outside this person may appear to be silent or distant or cold but it doesn't mean that they're not reflecting on their actions here aries i do feel like they're holding back from reaching out to you right now because um, they're just simply also reviewing everything that has happened between you both. I also felt like they know they've become very selfish or cruel towards you. For some reason, I'm picking that up. 
Five of Swords can also mean a conflict or argument, that something that blew out of proportion. They may have said words that pushed you away. And now as they review their behavior, Aries, they realize I could have handled uh, the situation a lot better. There was no need for harsh language. There was no need to be very cruel towards Aries. Because it gave them a sense of power. They thought that they were in control. They wanted to prove a point here. But as it turns out, you know, they were wrong to think about this, Aries. They were wrong to say those words or decide on this so quickly. They may have quickly cut the relationship as well, cut communication. You might have also felt ghosted by this person. Why is the strength card here, please? We have the Four of Cups. So in the recent past, the Four of Cups was they knew that they were deliberately ignoring the cup that you were offering. It's like they now know that they were not seeing the blessing of this relationship all along or they tried to suppress it. Like I said, there was feelings of in denial. But I also feel like they realize without you, Aries, things are not quite the same. You are the element of fun in this person's life with the Ace of Wands. You are the spark, the inspiration, that passion. And they have been feeling quite bored lately or despondent, very low in spirit. And over time as well, holding on to this feeling, suppressing them, it made this person quite jaded, Aries. Why is the Five of Swords here, please? We have the Chariot. So, yes, they're intending to move forward from these feelings, not to dwell on it too much. And they want to take action with the Chariot card. This could, again, be a card of travel, going where you are. Okay, I'm also getting a different story here. So at the time where there was conflict and argument, I feel like this person wanted to flee the situation. And it was really something so fast. It, it wasn't really something well thought of. They didn't really think of the consequences along the way. To them, it's like, let's get this done and over with. Okay, but once that has calmed down, the ego here, they were reminded now of what they've lost, you know? They run the risk of losing you in order to prove a point here. For some of you, the chariot may also mean that because they set their goals on their career, their work, or whatever it was that they were setting their mind into, along the way, they might have been blinded. You know, they were not seeing the people they were hurting along the process of getting towards their goal. Um, something about their lifestyle is also very fast, very intense. You might be dealing with a person of authority, Aries. And when it comes to matters of the heart, this person here is not really the sweet, sentimental type. They have a habit of moving forward so fast, however, only to find out that they are dealing with regrets. They didn't really take the time to process their decisions. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here, please? We have the Four of Pentacles. So I see that this person will be extremely closed off or there is tendency for rigid thinking. This can also be a card of holding back. Again, they're holding back here. Why is the Knight of Cups here? We have the Nine of Swords. So how do you feel about you? Uh, guilty, okay? I see some guilt. I see some sleepless nights. Whenever they think about you, they feel restless, Aries. They've also been having a lot of dreams about you at night. Can also be nightmares of, of their action here once in a while how they treated you okay and keeping this emotions as well as not giving them a sense of peace bottling these feelings it looks like they don't have anybody else to talk to about this but at night okay they definitely overthink things okay there's a sense of paranoia as well why is the page of pentacles here please we have the tower. So how they see you, they know that you're upset. They know that you're angry. The tower can also represent here um, eye opening, right? Awakening. So they feel like they, you have finally awakened. Okay. You may have been the one who finally cut ties, Aries. The tower is also a card of transformation. Let's see. Why is the six of swords here, please? The Seven of Cups. 
So they're afraid that you're walking away and keeping your options open at this time. Yes, they, you could be open for dating somebody new, Aries, I feel like. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? The King of Cups. Okay, so some of you are dealing with the Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So just be careful, Aries, because I do feel like with Five of Swords, this could also be some drama playing out. And the Chariot here, since they have a goal in mind, they want to reconnect with you. Um, this is because they finally have realized or they found out that you're open for dating. There could be a chance of not wanting to lose. You know, they plan to have the victory over this. But it could be something based off on the ego with the chariot and five of swords. And the king of cups, the shadow side that I'm picking up here, there could be tendency for emotional manipulation, Aries. You need to find out what this person's intentions are if they do or when they do reach out to you once again. Okay. Let's see. We're going to get one more card with this king of cups. We have the world card. But I do feel like you're done, though. You're seriously moving on from this. And with Ace of Cups, yes, you're opening up yourself for a new beginning, a new love. The Temperance is you finally healing from this whole situation. And you finally see things for what they truly are. And look at that. Six of Wands and Seven of Wands. You're blocking this energy for good. You're, you're really turning your back on the situation. And although you may still feel affected by this as well, Aries, but this is the direction where you're heading, okay? Okay. I see that you're going to uh, walk away from this. You may have felt like you were taken advantage of from this person, by this person, or that this person, you know, was just quite unfair how they just left things hanging with you. Perhaps this is closure with the world card. You need closure so that you can start moving forward. But there could be, you know, some pride getting in the way from this person of admitting their fault, their mistake. I don't know, just, just be very careful of the tendency for emotional manipulation here. Perhaps there's tendency to put the blame on you. And hopefully you will listen to your intuition. It's not about who's right or wrong, but it's about understanding, you know, both sides of the situation, Aries. What's important is that you keep things in perspective. We're going to get some advice card here. What is your advice for Aries going through the situation, please? It says, be courageous. Yes, be brave. Be brave, Aries. I feel like this person is also becoming more courageous and bold. Let's see what this card has to say, okay? Your ego is intimidated and wants to run away from the challenge at hand. It will offer any number of arguments to justify its fear and to tell you why you should quit now, none of which are valid. It's okay to be afraid just as long as you don't allow your fear to stop you from living the truth of your spirit. Overcoming it is easier than you think. Simply admit that you're scared. This emotion is normal. The human condition is always fearful. It is divine's part of you, your spirit, that's fearless. It's courageous because it knows that the universe supports you all the way. And when God is with you, nothing is against you because nothing is greater than the divine. Admit that your ego is fearful and recognize that this is normal. As you do so, watch your fear subside. The more you acknowledge and accept it as a part of your life, the less it will hold you in its grip. Allow your spirit to transform fear into a sense of adventure by breathing into it. Breathe in spirit. When you inhale deeply, it gives way to courage. Summon yours by drawing in your spirit. You're protected, so breathe and stay the course. So indeed, breathe and stay the course, Aries. I feel like you will be hearing from this person again, and it might be something that will mess with your mind or has potential to play mind games on you. But breathe in and stay the course. Be courageous to move towards the direction that you're guided to to pursue okay aries i do feel like some of you it's about something new healing yourself and blocking negativity out of your life so this is your reading aries please take this how it ever resonates meditate allow your own intuition to guide you i'm sending you love and light and namaste